Einstein genes were discovered. By transferring the genes into host cells, scientists created cells that consistently produce high amounts of factor IX protein. Once the appropriate cells have been identified, the cell line is frozen for storage. For each manufacture run, small quantities of these cells are grown in a series of increasingly larger incubators. Ultimately, they are grown in a large bioreactor with a nutrient-rich but albumin-free media. It usually takes three to four days before the protein is ready to harvest. The liquid is first filtered to separate the cells and additional impurities. Several chromatography columns are then used to separate factor IX from other proteins and impurities. The columns are filled with beads that will capture factor IX while allowing impurities to flow by. The columns chosen have been optimized for binding factor IX. The factor IX protein is then washed from the beads using specific buffer solutions. The entire process occurs in a controlled environment and is constantly monitored. Finally, a viral filtration step is included to reduce the risk of any viral contamination. The factor IX protein is now stored at low temperatures. Upon passing extensive testing, it is processed into its final formation and freeze-dried into a powder.